once in a while is every single day. That's your once in a while. Those are habits. That's Good morning. Good morning and welcome back. It is cold here. It is freezing. Hi. Good morning, besties. Okay, it is cold outside. I initially wanted to go outside, but the sound i live by right by the train station and literally the sound is whoosh whoosh and i'm recording and i went back to listen to it and i'm like no i don't want any whoosh in the background this is not the beat we are talking about how to live an intentional life part two we talked about part one a couple weeks ago and now we're doing a part two because there's so much about living an intentional life that i want to share with you that's so important so let's just get right into it Mm, got my iPad here because we're an iPad girly. The first one is being aware of the kind of content that you consume. And this comes on so many different levels. I have so many different thoughts coming to my mind right now. The first part of this is when you wake up in the morning and when you go to bed, your brain is in theta state, which means that things can pass the conscious slash the logical mind and go straight to the subconscious. And so it's so important what we ingest, the media we're consuming right before we go to bed, the music that we're listening to right before we sleep off is empowering us and not decreating or belittling or putting limiting beliefs in our head. That's a big part of the media that we consume. But also just during the day, like the kind of music that you're listening to, is it saying shoot up this, do this, kill this, hurt this, this person is a bitch, I'm gonna kill my person? No, like part of being intentional and you have no control over your brain digesting things, basically. So what you have control over is the kind of things that you let into your space to for your brain to digest. So the music that you listen to, the movies you watch, the social media that you ingest, the people you're watching on Instagram, you have control over that. So living a more intentional life, we are more intentional about what we consume. If we are used to ingesting media and comparing ourselves to other people on it and following those people or if we're used to compare people's body to ours or comparing what people have to us we're going to unfollow them or just stop ingesting that kind of media and you can make this easy on yourself period by just getting off social media if you feel like you're having a hard time being on it already also with being on social media also being very intentional with what are we here for are we here for a couple minutes of enjoyment are we here limitlessly scrolling let me tell you with this dopamine scrolling our brain like we love to scroll because you get that constant hit of dopamine and we just love it that's why every single morning person we wake up we'd be wanting to pick up our phones because it's a constant hit of dopamine and our body loves that but there are other ways you can get dopamine so by living a more intentional life we are saying we're not going to wake up and allow a thousand people into our lives the first second we wake up we are going to take our time and have our me time and that's how we're going to be intentional with our mornings the next way to live in a very intentional life is by creating habits now i know we love our goals we love to wait till the end of the year or the end of the month to set goals but let me tell you, so many people have said this, that it's this tiny things that you do every single day. Like, show me your routines and I will tell you who you are. <laughs> that's what makes sense. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. But show me what you do every single day and that's what makes the difference because you are doing these repeated things every single day. And that's what's making all the difference. So if you're waking up and you are going straight to your phone, you are eating unhealthy food every single day, or you're not pouring into yourself every single day, you are stressed every single day, you're not taking time to process your emotions every single day all those things build up and they become who you are that's what you are showing it's not at the end of the year we'll be like oh we didn't do all these things right i'm gonna sit down and make a resolution and not actually really act on it i'm just have it for a resolution's sake no we're going to implement those habits every single day so when you say i want me time from now we're not waiting until the end of the year we're not waiting until the end of the month to start these things but from now every single day i'm going to introduce something new that's very intentional and easy for me to follow so every single morning when I wake up I'm going to take a couple minutes and just breathe in and breathe out or I'm going to take a couple minutes and meditate or a couple minutes and pray but it's those little habits that build up who you are so we're going to be very intentional about our habits 
and this can even be with eating like I love to eat I'm an intuitive eater so I eat what my body's asking me for and my body's I'm very in tune with my body and I feed my body very well so it's usually asking me for foods that will fill me up nourish me and that's what I give it if you're constantly eating McDonald's or you're eating foods that are making you feel dreadful or making you feel tired those are habits and you can say oh I'm having it once in a once in a while but if you're having that once in a month once in a while is every single day that's your once in a while those are habits that's what your body ingests and that's how you end up feeling every single day it's the small things that make the big differences y'all it's the small things the small things that are actually the big things I think one of the biggest parts of living an intentional life is your mind you can do everything you want on the outside you can create that beautiful pigeon pinterest board and try to live that beautiful pinterest board but if your mind is not on track with things if your mind's still where it was before you started living in this life then no matter what you do on the outside yes it'll have some effects but it's not going to translate to the inside you have to get right with what is inside you first and this is just like think of it this way maybe i want to live a lavish lifestyle and i start buying things i start acting like i'm living a lavish lifestyle on the outside you know, i'm dressing up with designer clothes and i'm going to all these dinners and i'm living a lavish lifestyle but inside me i still feel the same person as i was before that lavish lifestyle if i'm not making an internal change to what's going on so it's very important to work on who you are inside and what i mean by this are those beliefs that you have we have so many beliefs that we grew up with when we were kids now you're an adult some of those beliefs that you have are kind of limiting some like a lot of people have great beliefs but there are some beliefs that we do have that are limiting so it's your turn to go inside do that work to be like what are the different limiting beliefs you have and i'm able to tackle this i usually tackle this by my everyday life it's usually when i have an experience that makes me be like oh that's a limiting belief why do i think this and i'll go back to maybe my childhood and be like oh hey this is what makes me think this way let me go ahead and rewrite this story so for an example i'll say maybe when i was younger i didn't feel i didn't really know what a content creator was when i was younger but in my head like nobody can make good money unless they're a doctor a lawyer or an engineer but as you grow older you realize you can and so i have to go back inside my mind and tell myself i if i want to be a full-time content creator i'm doing the limiting belief that you have to be a doctor lawyer or engineer to make money and tell myself that no matter what career you have as long as you have passion and you're doing well you can make money so it's basically just going in rewriting those limiting beliefs so that you can show up as you want to and so everything that you're showing on the outside is cohesive with what's on the inside because it's really what's on the inside that matters and you will start to feel those things on the inside coming out which is so important so make sure you tackle those limiting beliefs what's going on inside you and that's one of the biggest things of living a very intentional life what do y'all be spending your time doing like are you accountable for your time to live an intentional life you also want to be intentional with what you do during your day and this goes with so many different things but you want to be aware of what you're spending your time doing so are you spending your time aimlessly scrolling on social media are you spending your time binge watching shows are you spending your time in school are you spending your time like on your career what makes you happy what makes you sad like what are you spending your time doing so being very accountable with what you are spending your time doing because before you know it you'll be on your phone for literally five hours you'll look at that screen time i know y'all be having those 10 hour screen time so being very intentional with what you're spending your time doing and being accountable and if you realize that you're just like scrolling aimlessly on tiktok you can be like what can i replace with this with and i'm not saying that this is easy but recognizing that i am spending a lot of time on my phone let me pick up a book and read it it may not come easy but it is you taking accountability and you being very conscious and intentional about what you're spending your time doing the next one is setting daily intentions setting daily intentions is super important for me and i like to do this from the day before knowing what i'm going to spend my day doing and how i want my day to look like because whether you like it or not you are part of the creators of your reality and so in the night i will sit down and if i have a bunch of things to do the next day i like to sit down and actually write 
what exactly I need to do and what order I need to do it. And sometimes if I feel like I need to create timestamps between what time I'm going to wake up and how many blocks I'm going to allocate to that time, I will do that because time expands, work expands to the time that you give it. So it's really important. And also by giving myself daily intentions or setting intentions for my day, it helps me be very intentional and very deliberate about what I do during my day. And I am so much more productive. And I know sometimes we'll be like, oh, like I'll just remember in my brain what I'm going to do during the day. But it makes all of the difference when I write it down. Like I am filming four YouTube videos today and I sat down and I wrote every single thing that I needed to do yesterday because I have a bunch of errands that I need to run today. And by doing that, I tell my brain, okay, tomorrow when I wake up, I have these things to do. I'm going to get them all done. And it just helps me live such a more intentional life and it helps me get what I need to get done during the day and makes me feel like I had a really productive day. And it's just great for being very intentional during the day. <laughs> All right, besties, I hope you enjoy this episode and this part two of living life intentionally. I feel like there'll be so many more parts of how to live a life intentionally because there's just so much to cover to live a very intentional life. So let's go back over what we, we talked about. We said, number one is being aware of the kind of media you are consuming. Are you dopamine scrolling because you want that instant hit? Are you listening to things and letting 100 people into your room first thing in the day? Number two is, do you have habits? What are your habits and what are your habits saying about you? Because it's the small things that make the big things which show up in your life. The next thing is being aware of limiting beliefs and what's holding you back. Taking that time to do, the, to do that inner work because like I said, you can buy millions of things, you can do lots of things on the outside, but you will still be the same person on the inside if you don't make a change and go inside yourself to see what is actually going on. The next part is, what do you spend your energy doing? Are you being accountable for your time and being intentional about what you're giving your time to? And the last one is, are you setting daily intentions, so being very deliberate about what you're doing during the day and how you're doing it and having productive days, honestly. Now, none of these living intentionally habits are to stifle you. They're actually to help you live a more fulfilling life and they just feel so good to do. Like I implement all of these and they make me feel so good. They also help me to be more spontaneous. I am not, I don't feel caged by these different things. And this is because by having a set of guidelines for myself or living life by a set of principles or having these values, I know that there's so much spontaneity built into it. So you may think, oh, I'm setting intentions for my day. I can't do anything else, but it's the opposite. I get most of my intentions done earlier in the day. And so when my friends after school are like, oh, let's go have fun or let's do this and this, I've done most of my intentions for the day. And I'm like, okay, I have time to do this. I can be able to do this without being very anxious that I'm not going to get other things done. All right, besties, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if there's any of the living intentionally things or advices that I spoke about that resonate with you, let me know what resonates with you. And also, if you have any more tips on how to live intentionally, make sure you drop them in the comments so we can talk about them because I love to learn. I love to, any kind of books y'all have, just send them my way. I will literally take them and digest them. So I hope y'all have the most beautiful day. I love you and I cannot wait to see y'all next week. Mwah. Hugs and kisses and lots of love.